Hey there guys, it's me a 148 back with another video, and today I have a little deck for you based on these two right here, uh, Mega Rayquaza and a Koopa EX. I just have this one back here as a little decorative piece, and I have the flash on again because the lighting isn't so good. So I'm going to get right into this deck, it's based on a uh, Japanese commercial that I found. Um, it showed it as uh, playing a Pokemon battle, and I was like, man, that's fast setup, and uh, I heard a lot of people use like Mega Rayquaza and Shaman at the Worlds, and I haven't looked at any decks to really see if anybody's used that combo to, at the winning top 8 or whatever. But this deck uh, is very fast paced, I've tested it many of times, I mean if you get the right cards in the first turn you can actually have a Mega Rayquaza set up and ready to attack for second turn. Um, so I'm going to get right into it, I'm going to start off with the... Pokemon, uh, the basic Pokemon and the Megas that you're going to use, and then it's all EXs, there's no regulars that I could find to put in here. There's one variation that you could have in here, but it's not necessary. Then trainers, and then energies. Um, so to start off the deck, you're going to want uh, four Hoopa EX, I don't have any of them, so I'm just using uh, proxies. Um, basically its ability says search your deck for three Pokemon EX, excluding Hoopa EX and place them into your hand. And then it's a uh, move I can't remember, but it's not that useful for the deck. Uh, wait, uh, I think it's, I don't remember what it's called. It uses three energies, uh, does like 100 damage, and then you discard two energies attached to this Pokemon, but it's not that good. But So this Pokemon is mainly used for its ability. You wanna have three or four of these in here, it's the main setup. Uh, next on the deck lineup is you want four Mega Rayquaza EX. Um, I know with the new, new uh, set they have the one with the Delta Max where it heals, where you, when you place it onto the onto the Rayquaza, it heals all heal, uh, all damage off from it. But you want to have uh, either one or two of those. I'm ha I'm having two in here, and then uh, two of the Delta Evolution, saying that you can actually. Um, one second. Um, place this Pokemon out either on your first turn. This is the one that you're going to want to get out in order to actually be able to use it on the first turn. On the first turn or the first turn that you place out the Pokemon. This one also gives you all of the attack power. Basically, with one of the uh, trainers, this attack can do 30 damage times the number of, ben of your bench Pokemon. It can do up to 240 damage with the right cards. So that's that card. Next you have uh, Rayquaza, you want to at least have uh, two of the normal type uh, non-promo and then um, one or two of the promo. The promo is really good at especially getting set up in the first and second turn um, and that's good. It has two retreat cost and it's really good. And then the next card in the deck is uh, Shaman EX. I just pulled this card in the previous video and it looks pretty cool. Um, you want to at least have three or four of these, uh, that's, you don't want to have two in here, I mean, you could probably try that, but it's not recommended in my opinion. Uh, you want to have it, as many EXs in this deck, uh, variation to this is you could have Lugi EX from, um, uh, I think it is from Ancient Origins, yeah, it's from Ancient Origins, I just pulled one of those, and you could have one or two of those in there, but I haven't really found room for it yet. So going up to the trainers, uh, you want to have a slight setup with this. Is There's not really much variation with these. Uh, one of the cards I found very useful with this deck is Mega Turbo. Basically, when you bring out that uh, Luke or Rayquaza, put the Rayquaza Spirit Link onto it, Mega Evolve in the first turn, uh, put a double colorless energy on, and then Mega Turbo after you do an Ultra Ball. Um, you can at least you can have a full setup of a uh, Mega Rayquaza in the first turn, and then do 120 damage on the first turn if you get it right. Um, but this says it, attach a basic energy from your uh, hand, uh, from your discard pile to one of your Mega Evolution Pokemon. When I first had this and I didn't have uh, this on it, I thought that it just said put it to one of your Pokemon. I guess I was wrong with that at first. But yeah, uh, it says one of your Mega Evolution Pokemon, you want to have four of these 
minimum. I mean, you can't have more than that, but I mean, still. Uh, next on our list is Rayquaza Spirit Link. You want to have three or four of these. Um, there's not really much else you can do. If you want to have two, that's kind of risky, but there's no really search out for item cards that I've found, so you want to have three of those at least. Next on our list is a Ultra Ball. You want to have three or four of these. Everybody knows what this does, and this is very helpful. Uh, discard two cards from your hand and search your deck uh, for a Pokemon, any Pokemon. Hoopa EX is very helpful for this card, and it really helps. Um, and the next card is you want to have a variation of a switch and escape rope. Um, you want to have four, three, two, one of each, uh, but you want to have four of all of this. It's very helpful. Uh, recommended at least two switch and two escape rope. I mean, it gets you out of that sticky situation where you have like Shaman or Hoopa at the start and then want to get that uh, Rayquaza up. But it's very helpful to get that start up. Or you can discard them with uh, um, Ultra Ball. And then next on our list is Max Revive. I felt that this card is helpful for either discarding and or getting that uh, Mega Rayquaza out and then Shaman and then drawing into that Mega Rayquaza so you can at least have that know-how of getting that. So you can either have this in there or you can try to have some other Pokemon that'll help. Onto our supporter line, that's it for our item line. Uh, you want to have four Professor Sycamore, uh, four, three or four Professor Sycamore, I haven't really found much else used for that. Uh, everybody knows what, knows what that does. Next on our list is uh, Professor Birch's Observation. Basically you get to shuffle your hand into your deck and then flip a coin. If heads, draw seven cards. If tails, draw four cards. Um, this is very helpful. I mean it's kind of replacing uh, N, especially with the new variation for all of that. Um, because N is now illegal in the new season except in expanded format. You want to have uh, Professor Birch's observation in order to keep going. Um, some of the things I could replace it is uh, Shauna. <sighs> what else is there? I can't remember what else. Uh, Shauna is another one. It's uh, shuffle your hand into your deck and then draw five. There's also uh, Ace Trainer, but I mean this is if you're losing. This is very good. Uh, if you can only play this card if you have more prize cards left than your opponent, which is very useful. Um, and that says each player shuffles his his or her hand into his or her deck. And draw you draw six cards, and then your opponent draws three. I mean that's kind of like replacing N in a variation. You want to have uh, one or two of those, but I mean it's just one. It's just my opinion. I mean you can have none of those actually. Uh, next on our list is Steven. This is just in that sticky situation for me. I mean, I probably won't use it that that often. More like a discard than a actual use. Uh, search your deck for a supporter card and a basic energy. Reveal them, reveal them, and put them into your hand. I mean, that's in a sticky situation. And next on the list is Winona. I haven't really used this for its own ability, just because of the fact you can probably have none of these and still survive. But I saw it on the, as I mentioned, the TV advertisement for the J Japanese version of the deck. And I was like, oh, that might help. Uh, it helps out getting a Rayquaza, Mega Rayquaza out. Uh, but I've mo mainly discarded this with Ultra Ball and gone for a Hoopa EX. And then next is the stadiums. That's it for the supporters. Uh, the stadiums only include one, which is Sky Field. You want to have four of these. No matter what, this is very helpful. You can um, each player can have up to eight Pokemon on his or her bench, um, and then when this card leaves the fields, uh, each player, if they have over eight or over five, discards till they have five on the field. Um, that doesn't help with uh, if they discard, but I mean, I've just had I've been testing it out with uh, another deck, and this one is very good. I mean. It helps out a lot. And then that's it for the trainers. Um, on to our energies, which is pretty basic lineup. I mean, you gotta have four double colorless energy, no matter what. I mean, 
you place this onto the um, Mega Rayquaza and then discard two energies in the first turn and you have a setup for first turn knockout of 120 up to 240 damage. And then next you want to have uh, in between 8 and 12 I have 10 Psychic Energy. This is basic, I mean, you don't necessarily need Psychic, it's just because of the Hoopa um, that you have this in here. Uh, that's the only reason why I have these is for Hoopa, but I mean, technically you could use just about any energy. Especially if you want to use this right here, but I don't use that because it's kind of 300 damage and then you discard two energy. I don't see really any purpose for it. Um, but yeah, that's the deck. I mean, it consists of Hoopa, Mega Rayquaza, and Shaman. I mean, that's pretty much it for the deck. Still gotta get the full crystal art of the Mega Rayquaza with Delta Max. But uh, yeah, that's it, guys. And thank you guys for watching, and uh, stay tuned for more.